Troodon is a messy case, to put it lightly. Like, it, it has caused problems ever since its initial description. So, in 1856, North American paleontologist Joseph Leidy went onto an expedition for fossils, and he came across a single theropod tooth. And yes, I mean it. It was just a single theropod tooth. The tooth was different enough from other theropod dinosaurs that he decided it can be it could fall under its own its own genus essentially. He named it Troodon or wounded tooth. This from the get-go was extremely problematic. For the most part when genuses are named, it's from several more skeletal remains because then you can accurately distinguish which belongs to the genus and which does not. Because of the fact that it was only described from a tooth, you would have to do the unfair thing of any dinosaur that has this similar tooth would fall under the genus. And so this would lead to years of debates on whether or not this dinosaur should be part of the Troodon genus or this one should or if this one should be taken out or whatever the case may be. And eventually we would find more and more specimens of Troodontids and find more and more things different about them. So different that it eventually called into question the fact that we should even consider Troodon to be a valid genus. So in 2017 it was finally drawn to the conclusion that Troodon is no longer valid. And each dinosaur that was under that genus was separated into their own genus due to the differences in their skeletons. So for years, we've grown up with Troodon firmly in our dinosaur books. As of today, it is no longer considered a valid genus.